Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna upgrade my P1P with the P1S upgrade kit. I already enclosed it, but I wanted to use the original parts. You can find the enclosure kit on the Bamboo Lab store. I already installed some of the upgrades, so I bought the missing parts separately. Success is a finicky thing, and if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't wanna let Most important is to read before you build. I didn't do that, so please be wiser than me and print this part before you strip your printer. This file is provided by Bamboo Lab. I don't like the amount of support it has or the way it's been designed, but it does come with function, so let's just print it and put it in. I will run, run away, I don't have to plan it. I can go, change my fate, you won't understand it. All alone, that's okay, people like it, stand them. They don't want me to change, keep me where I'm standing. Now it's time to take my old enclosure apart. And I want something more, take a chance. It could be possible. Just to make things clear, this video is not sponsored by Bamboo Lab and everything is paid by myself. I'm taking out the auxiliary fan and with the new panels you don't need to stand anymore in my opinion that's a big improvement in design and after the whole printer is stripped it's time to rebuild again starting with the side panels when placing the panels and screwing them down please take your time for this align them properly and make sure you only have to do it once. After attaching the AMS hub, I also mount the side pool holder. You can find this one on Maker World. I'll put a link in the description below. And after reattaching the door, the upgrade is finished. The cable chain assembly, the P1S tool head cable and the PTFE tube I already upgraded in the previous video. I'll put a link in the description to that. After the upgrade, don't forget to tell your printer you upgraded it. So go to the menu, go to accessories, official enclosure kit and say it's upgraded. Now you're really finished. After this upgrade, it does look really nice and printing ABS after this upgrade went without any problems. I would definitely recommend this upgrade if you already have a P1P. If you're in the market for a new printer, go directly to the P1S. This saves you a lot of money and time doing the upgrade afterwards. And again, thanks to my Patreons. 
like and subscribe or you can support me on Patreon. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next.